Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Drupal Hub podcast. It's so nice to have you as a beautiful, wonderful audience. Again, this is another educational ser- uh, uh, podcast on our active threat mitigation and safety series that both uh, I, Dr. Debbie from the Quadrillion, and Mike Weller from Intelligence Consulting Partners have taken the time to put together for you today. So thank you for being here. Uh, And again, welcome Dr. Debbie and Mike. We're we're glad to have you back on the show. How are you both doing today? Excellent. Thank you for having me. Likewise, thank you. Yeah, great to have you on And, and an amazing topic. Very timely for this time of year. We're talking about preparation for the holiday season. And you know, in our previous episode, we really created a nice framework for our audience on the importance of safety, the importance of having a safety program. Today, we're going to dive just a bit deeper in what we as organizations can do for situations like what we're, what we have towards the end of 2022 and holiday seasons in general. So let's, Let's kick it off for the audience. Uh, Mike, question for you and, and Dr. Debbie, look forward to your thoughts on this also. So why, why would we focus on the holiday season? Why is preparation unique and different as opposed to other times of the year? Yeah, I think this is a, a fantastic uh, segue from what we previously talked about with regards to situational awareness. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, during the, the holiday seasons, we tend to see an uptick in, in criminal activity. Um, and I think there's a couple of variances that, that could cause and be the catalyst that creates that atmosphere. Uh, but the reality is, is for us as individuals to take ownership and realize the importance of having strategies and having plans in place. Um, too many times we get so caught up in the hustle and bustle that we, we lose sight of what's right in front of us. <clears throat> and having those, those strategies, or at least having a concept or an idea uh, in the event that, that something uh, could be or may be wrong, walking out into the parking lot, you know, when it's not well lit or carrying 20 bags in my hands and not being able to occupy my hands. Um, not looking around and just seeing or being on the phone. Uh, too many times we see this over the years and and fortunately or unfortunately, Pete and I have years and years of law enforcement experience tied in with this intelligence consulting partner um, organization that we've created that has uh, allowed us to go out and educate people um, to try to prevent some of these crisis modes from happening. One of the things that we we talk about, or at least I I try to Mm -hmm. illustrate, is that, for instance, you know, and I think I've shared this in previous podcasts with us, and it's about having that plan, um, not waiting to the last minute to stop and get gas. Too many times I see people uh, panic, right? Was there traffic? Uh, Do I have uh, enough gas here to get me from point A to point B? And then, unfortunately, what happens is, we're we're then drawn into i gotta get gas now i gotta get gas now i gotta get gas now and then what do we end up doing we end up going to probably areas that may be less than desirable uh there may be some things we're overlooking because what happens is during crisis our our blood oxygen intake goes down and our thought process gets back into what I refer to as the lizard brain. And when the lizard brain activates, we're just act, we're just actively moving around without an actual strategy or a plan. I hope that makes sense what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's very good. I liked all the particular details you highlighted, Mike. Uh, just a lot to think about as uh, the, the really busy time for most people, the holiday season. Dr. Debbie, any thoughts? What are your What are your thoughts on this time of year and preparation and overall? Well, I think all of us, you know, we run on a heavy dose of overload anyway. Mm-hmm. And my main message today is strength through elimination. 
you know, the pressure we put on ourselves is far greater than anyone puts on us. And I want us to just focus on the vital few. You know, as a coach, I encourage everyone to just plan your day around three important things. And trust me, I'm a recovering workaholic. So I have a lot to say about this topic. And if you're going to become the dominant part in your life, you have to be present. And so I want us to focus on what can we eliminate during this holiday season? You know, I, I want to remind everybody, people would rather have our presence than our presence, the kind that are wrapped under the tree. So my main message is strength through elimination. Think about what can you take off of your plate so that you can be more conscious and alive and present. I love it. I love it. Both amazing takeaways from, from both of you on, on this uh, particular question and just good, good, solid items to move forward with. And, and, uh, um, thank you for that. So I, you know, Mike and, and Dr. Debbie, when we were putting together the outline for today's episode, you know, a, a phrase came up that I found very, very unique, and I'd, I'd love to just dive into it for a minute. A when-then approach to situ situational awareness. Can you give our audience a, an idea of like, what is that? Like a when-then approach to situational awareness. Mike, what, do you, what are your thoughts? Yeah, well, first off, thanks for bringing that, that up, Jonathan. Um, this is a concept that we came across, or at least I came across probably a good 30 some odd years ago. <clears throat> and the old concept was what if, and I, I talk about, people always talked about, well, what if, what if, what if, well, what if is a variable that it may or may not happen. Um, what we did was we, we transposed that into when then. And what we're trying to do is we're implementing a psychological concept that when something occurs, then this is the action that I will take. Now, that action may not be exactly what we plan to do, mm -hmm. but at least we have provided ourselves with a layer or a strategy and a plan that's in place. So what we've started doing was trying to implement that cognitive thought process within people to let them realize that it is your, it, it becomes your responsibility to have some type of strategy in place. And, and when you, when you look at some of these concepts that are happening and look, we're, we're plagued with a lot of media. We're plagued with a lot of news. We're a lot, we're plagued with a lot of horrific things, but you know what? All those things are educational components. They are all things that can give us and provide us with a, a, a wealth of knowledge to implement, implement information in a fashion that will give me that ability to um, have that plan in place when something does go wrong. So we talked about when then, and this is something that we've brought into play, and we really want people to get away from that what if mentality, but when then. When something occurs, then this is going to be my plan of action. I love it. I love it. Thank you for that. That, you know, I saw, I had such a visual. It's just like, okay, having that in my, in my like thinking patterns of different situations that I'm in, when this is happening, then I need to do this. So that was awesome. Dr. Debbie, what are your thoughts on that concept? Well, again, I, I just go back and I struggle like all of us to be present, living in the now. You know, I'm, I'm constantly, you know, uh, researchers say that we have between 70 and 80,000 thoughts running through our head. And most of them are about something that happened yesterday or we're future casting and we're thinking about what is going to happen. And I think it's just so important that we live in the now. You know, I, I use an acronym, Jonathan, you know, I'm an acronym junkie and win. I, I just want to win the day and win, W-I-N, 
uh, can be used for what's important now. What's important now is that, you know, before I leave a meeting or before I leave a store during the holidays, I've got my, my keys out. Uh, I know that uh, I'm going to get someone to walk me out to the car. I know that I'm going to put my bags instead of in the back seat, I'm going to put them in the, the trunk of the car. I know that if I'm picking something up, I'm going to make that my last stop, not my first stop. And you can't think like that if you are distracted. And so again, I think I, I, I said it earlier, strength through elimination. I am trying to think about what are the strategies, effective strategies that I can do to really simplify my life. You know, it's strength through elimination. I love it. I love it. And, and to, to bridge what both of you made comments on. So in my head, this is, was my takeaway. If you win, then you can win. W I N that's, that's, that was, that was my teaching point. So thank you both. Beautiful. Okay. Sure. We know an old expression been around forever. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. We live by it. Maybe our parents taught us that or our grandparents. We, we know it well. So Mike, how does that expression how does that coincide with what we're talking about today and going into the holiday season, going into a busy time? Um, how does that, how does that relate and how does that benefit us? Well, again, you know, we, we could use whatever pro proverb or, or whatever analogy that's, that's out there. And I think that's a fantastic one that you've chosen. I think the, the reality is, is that, you know, um, Tragedy is going to strike us at some point, some way, some fashion, some form. And how we've adapted or how we have established um, a routine within our lives, I think is, is a critical part of what our response is going to be to whatever that event is, that latent event that, that has impacted us. Um, and, I, and I think that, um, you know, when, you know, you, you, we talk about, don't touch the stove because the stove is hot and then you're going to get burned. Um, we don't want to take those risks that are associated with certain aspects that we may be confronted with. So as Debbie was talking about, is sitting there talking about, you know, just having keys out and, and having a plan in place. Um, you know, I, I talk about this and this is what, what comes to my mind is that Again, I go back and talk about under situational awareness and that we are creatures of habit. If we walk in and out of the same door in our established work environment, or we walk in and out of the same door uh, at, a, at a shopping center or a mall or whatever it may be, what we're doing is we're, we're actually failing ourselves mm -hmm. because we are creating a, a situation where that's the only thing that we know. Um, so I challenge people with looking at other escape strategies and other escape routes, because when that cognitive process shuts off and we are just trying to survive, unfortunately, we're going to, we're going to gravitate back to those areas that could potentially cause us even more risk or more harm. And the other thing is, is I think that we previously talked about that if I don't have an alternative strategy. I'm going to go into what we talk about as condition color black, and that's freeze. And that's the worst thing that we could ever do in our lives. Our heart rate is elevated so far and so high that we can't actually have a good thought process to just turn to the left and go out that door that may be right there and available to us. So again, I just look at, at, at uh, how, we're, how we're raised, our environment in which we create. And, and Debbie talked about having friends, having best friends, having people and, and those folks that are around us mm -hmm. that can help provide us with that layer that will just enhance our abilities to succeed. Beautiful. Thank you, Mike. Dr. Debbie, let's, uh, let's round this off. How does this 
this level of pre preparedness, how does that, how serious is it? And, you know, this level of prevention that we're talking about today, what are your thoughts? Well, I want to wrap a bow around this beautiful conversation to not forget the purpose and the reason for the season and, and all of that. And I, I do want to say margin makes all the difference in the world. When you're rushed, you are hyper-focused on getting from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, my husband calls me the bag lady. I am constantly holding five bags of phone, keys, and a coffee cup. And I will just tell you that margin can make all the difference in the world. Uh, you know, reducing the expectation you have on yourself. You know, what, ha what has to get done always gets done. And I want us to put some time and space in our calendars so that we can be more present. And to think again about what's the three most important things that have to get done and to really focus on our why, you know, um, start saying no to everything that doesn't align with your why. My why is I've got to get back to my family at night. Um, and so during the holidays, let's think about creating more margin and maybe we're just more present in these conversations with each other and we take this to heart that it's not if something's going to happen it's when something's going to happen and we want to be present so that we can have a response that uh, keeps us all safe i love it thank you for that bow that was beautiful you know it's it is a busy time and a lot to think about and I know that this was from, you know, hearing both of you speak before, this was just a taste, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our whole audience <laughs> of what both of these wonderful professionals provide in their speaking and training engagements. So thank you again, uh, Dr. Debbie and Mike Weller, Dr. Debbie from the Quadrillion, Mike Weller from Intelligence Consulting Partners for being part of this series that we're providing to our industry on safety and today's focus being on the busy time the holiday time that we're all uh, looking at and facing over the next couple of months so thank you for being here today and that was my takeaway just you know don't get so busy that you forget your fundamentals of of safety so fantastic reminders uh, for all of us uh, mike how can our audience uh, connect with you where can they find you online yeah, absolutely. Again, it's just it's an absolute blessing to have both of you all in our in our world and in our lives to help provide this message to everybody. Um, before I get to that point, I just want to leave this one little last thing, and it's going to be wrapped around the letter P, the letter P prevention. All right, we're gonna start with prevention. And then I'm going to throw this at you real quick. Remember, prior proper planning prevents poor performance. I'll say that one more time. Prevention, prior oh, wow. proper planning prevents poor performance. And I, and I want our audience to truly understand that preparation is everything, right? Preparation is everything. So with that said, not to belay this, but uh, anybody that would love to reach out to us, we'd be more than happy to partner up and assist. And that's probably at our website at uh, www. Uh, intelligenceconsultingpartners.com. Again, www.consultingpartners.com. Very good. Thank you, Mike. We'll make sure those are in the show notes for our audience. And Dr. Debbie, how can people connect with you? Yes, as always, it's Debbie at The Quadrillion. Think about million, trillion, quadrillion, The Quadrillion. Debbie at The Quadrillion or on social media at Dr. Debbie Phillips. And I just want to leave with this replace busyness with being intentional. So everybody can be busy, but our goal is to be intentional. So thank you for joining us today in this vital conversation. And I look forward to our next discussion. Likewise, thank you both Dr. Debbie and Mike Weller. We appreciate both of you being on the show again today. And we're very grateful to our audience 
Thank you for taking the time to join us, being part of the solution, being part of the prevention strategy for our industry. Thank you for connecting with us. We look forward to seeing you on our next episode. Take care, everyone.